Commissioner Rob Manfred of baseball here in the Rich Eisen Show. And obviously, out of all the sports, I would say that baseball is the most stat driven in many ways. Right. And we're talking about metrics and we're talking about analytics. And now we're seeing half the defense on one side of the field. Are are you addressing the positioning of players? Because if you're talking about action, there are more outs sometimes <laughs> right, right. because there's four guys on the right side of the field. Right. And there's a pull hitter and the guy's being pitched to pull the ball. And more often than not, it's going to, I mean, are you addressing something yeah, like that? This is something that we are having conversations about. Again, it's one of those changes in the game. The number of shifts, I think it went from 3,000 two years ago to 10,000. It's off the charts. Year. Just crazy number of shifts. Um, it does affect particular kinds of players. Um, it also exacerbates what I was saying about home runs and strikeouts, right? You get a left-handed pull hitter, mm -hmm. you shift on him, yeah. right? It, he's much more likely to not be able to put the ball in play. I mean, that's just the reality. So we are looking at it, but... I think about the issues kind of along a continuum, right? We talked about dead time issues. Um, you know, an intentional walk, nothing's going to happen. Uh, visits to the mound, you know, 22 catcher visits in an inning. You know, you can manage those things without affecting the competitive mm -hmm. nature of the game. When you start to get to shifts, right, you're interfering with somebody's strategy. That's a bigger change to make than dealing with the dead time issues, in my view. Interesting, because I'm, I'm sitting here having this conversation with you about this. It's similar to me in the same way that Commissioner Silver in the NBA has guys who don't shoot free throws very well. Right. And now they're being purposely fouled. And we're asking the commissioner, what do you do about that, yeah, Commissioner right. Silver? And his response was very similar to the one that you just gave, because, hey, look, if, if somebody is a pull hitter, and he can't go the other way, why is that your problem? Right. Because there's four guys on the right side of the infield. Like I said, I think I really do. I, I think, Rich, you have to think about them along a continuum. I think we are prudent mm -hmm. in terms of keeping our core fan base with us if we deal with the delay issues, the non-competitive, it's not changing the outcome, it's just dead time. If we deal with those first and leave the things that can change the outcome of a game mm – -hmm. To the people that manage the game, I think we are probably on more solid ground. And then there's other issues where maybe you can institute something that might affect strategy, and that's a pitch clock. How is that being affected in the uh, levels of baseball that you have put that into well, reality? We've been very careful with the pitch clock. Um, it, you know, we deployed it in the minor leagues. We think using it, um, you know, all levels of the minor leagues, using it in the, in the minor leagues, we believe trains pitchers to move more quickly, which is a positive in and of itself. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we found is players adjust. We think this is one of those changes that players are able to adjust to. It doesn't change the game and can be used to move things along. Now, whether we get there with the MLBPA in terms of bringing it to the big league level is an open issue. There's conversations that need to be had on that topic. Um, but I don't see that in the same category as, for example, a, a rule that would limit the number of relief pitchers. Um, it, it, and, and if you look at major league pitchers, interestingly, not that many of them actually take more than 20 seconds to deliver the ball. But sometimes the pit, that's, if you want to talk about dead time, yeah. The, the lefty-righty stuff that Tony La Russa broke ground with back in the right. 80s and then made vogue in the 90s, and now the copycat leagues uh, mentality. I mean, what about the idea that there's two pitching changes in a half inning? Look, I, th there's no question. I mentioned it earlier when I talked about the changes in the game. Mm -hmm. We go The number of pitchers we use in a season mm -hmm. is – increased dramatically and it's all these matchup pitchers they come up and down from the minor leagues they're used for a while um they are used more frequently and, and then you know maybe demoted uh that that is a phenomenon that is more difficult to manage because it does affect the competition on the field having said that it's one that we are thinking a lot about because it is a major change the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience